In this video from Kilmore Physio TV, we will show you how to make sure that your crutches are the right length, how to use them, and how to walk safely up and down stairs. First, check the stoppers on the end of the crutches. They should have plenty of tread on them so that they are safe if the surface is wet. If the tread is worn, you may find replacements from your supplier or chemist. If you bend your wrist, you will find that your skin creases just above the wrist joint. This is the height that you want to have the handle of your crutches. Stand with your arm relaxed by your side and make sure that the handle matches up with this position on your wrist. You can adjust the height of your crutches by lengthening or shortening them, making sure that they click into place. Some crutches have a lock feature that fixes them in place. Similarly, you can adjust the height of the armband on forearm crutches to a comfortable position. When walking with two crutches, there are a number of different walking patterns that you may be asked to use or find more comfortable. If your affected leg is non-weight bearing, you cannot place any pressure through your leg or put your foot down on the floor. To hop forwards, move the crutches a short distance in front of you, press down firmly through your hands, and swing the unaffected leg through. Your foot should end up in front of the crutches. If your affected leg is partial weight bearing, you may place a light load through your leg, usually up to half your body weight. You may check this with your health professional. To walk, move the crutches out in front of you a short distance. Step your affected leg forward so it is in line with your crutches. Push down firmly through your hands and then step your unaffected leg forwards. As you become more confident and can take more weight, you may be asked to step through. That is, bring the unaffected leg in front of your crutches as you walk forwards. This encourages your affected leg to rock from heel to toe as you step your weight forwards. To go up and down stairs, there is an old saying, good foot to heaven, bad foot to hell. That means that your good foot goes up onto the step first when stepping up and your bad foot leads when stepping down. When you go upstairs, you put your good foot, that is your unaffected leg, on the step and then follow with the crutches and your affected leg. When you go downstairs, you put your bad leg, that is your affected leg, down with your crutches before following with your unaffected leg. So your good leg always helps lifting and lowering your body. The same thing applies when you walk up and down stairs with only one crutch. Just remember to place it in the opposite hand to your affected leg. This takes your body weight away from the leg and towards the crutch. These instructions will have you walking safely and comfortably with your crutches. If you are unsure about anything with your crutches, please contact your healthcare professional. 